Okay, this is the point here where after all the heavy grinding and the, and the rough blending is done, that on anything stage four and above, I pressure test the head. This is my small block Chevrolet deal. And what you do with this is you go in there and I usually pull it up to about 30, 40 pounds and you just spray. And you look for any kind of bubbles or any red, anything that's popping out. I mean, I use the sonic checker and all that, but the problem is that the pro comp still, they make me a little bit nervous. And then you look for the bubbles, a foam or anything that's moving. As you can see, there's nothing. So pretty much with this pressure test, what this tells me, I'm 110%. It's better for me to find out I got a leak here because I have several ways to fix it, not just epoxy. I have some almost space age sealant that goes in there, and I mean, you have to push it through. It's used with heat and everything. It's about $300 a gallon, and it prevents it. But uh, I just go through, I shoot everything anywhere where any rough grinding or anything, the blending was. And if there's anything in the world at all that goes on, this right here tells a story. Okay. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you that I do is called pumping. I feel a lot safer on the pro comp heads doing this. Uh, I mean, I'm right now at, at 30 pounds of pressure, which there's not no leaks in the head, but it don't hurt. To go ahead and do this this is a, an optional thing for you people out there that are interested it don't come in with the package but I have a chemical I've showed you on some of my other videos what pumping is known as but now that this head's pressure tested I know beyond shadow of a doubt there's no leaks nothing going on I'll go ahead and get it ready to pour the chemical in it it will be heat treated while the pumping procedure is going on and then I'll dump the excess out and cook it, let everything dry on it and then our head is ready to do my little bit of polishing I got left to do on it and polishing of the chambers, it'll be good to go. Alright, we're almost through with this episode, let's get to the heat treat and pumping process. What I usually do is warm the back side, I've got full heat on it and it's going to cook it for a few minutes, I bring it up to a pretty good temperature then I pour the chemical in on this end, when I get it full, then what I'll do is pressurize it under pressure with the head tilted up like this and let it sit for a couple of minutes while that heat cooks it. Then I'll drain the excess out of it and put it back in there and let it cook uh, for about uh, 20 or 30 minutes till it has time to really dry all that stuff out and shut it off and let it cool down. So that puts a good little coating on it. I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 thousandths thick. It goes into all the pores. I would recommend to all you pro comp guys, uh, just because of what I've went through with the castings over the years, this absolutely ensures after pressure testing it, putting that chemical on it, this head is as good as a Brodex or anything else out there, structural and integrity wise. So, just something that I do on them. I've, I've never had a set come back to me. I've never had a problem. And I can't count how many of these I've done since they, since China released this on us. So anyway, just wanted to go through that. I'll show you when I get pressurized in a few minutes. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get the first dose of this in. It's real simple. This is what I use. You can get it up in advanced auto parts. You got to shake it really, really good.
All right, she's filling up pretty good. We'll get back to this just a second. You can see I'm filled to the top right there. It's full of the, full of the stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end plate and go ahead and uh, bolt this onto it. Got a little bit of a leak, a little bit of leftover drip there. I better go ahead and wipe it off. Heaven forbid the cosmetic look of the head don't look right. Some people care more about what it looks like than what it does when it runs on the car. I've never seen anything like it. But anyway, we'll go ahead and secure it. secure. We got that part taken care of. Now I'm going to clamp it. And then I'm going to sit here and hook my pressure to it. And what I do is I pull it up to about 17 or 18 pounds. All right, now from right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes and then remove it and take the pressure off of it, okay, and then I'll uh, drain the excess out and put it back in there and let it cook for a little while. This head has now been pumped. All of the water jackets on the outside of the head are absolutely coated and filled and there'll be no problems with any kind of porosity leaks 10 years down the road okay okay now that it warmed up and it cooked a little bit got a little bit toasty for us now we're going to dump the excess off in the bucket ooh steamy hot But unfortunately, if you're going to do this, that's what it's got to be. Lord mercy. Tell y'all what, y'all are getting a good deal for what I charge for this, I can tell you that. <laughs> Alright, now i got to take the head of the plate and everything back off real quick. And put it back.